What's going on, fellas? Today I have to build a Ventura. What we're looking at here is a blower that I built in like 10 minutes. Uh, my fire went out this winter because the blower I had hooked up to it failed. And me and my buddy Corey were in here building something at like 10 o'clock at night. And we had to have heat. So this was my solution to a blower failure. <laughs> I threw this thing together as the burner was just smoking like we had like minutes to solve this problem and this is what I came up with. And essentially, this thing just started to vibrate so badly that it became annoying. You can see the build up there. This thing was exposed to direct contact with like a 400 degree exhaust stream. And for the most part, it's done very well. The only problem is, as I said, is once it starts building up, it starts to lose balance, and then it vibrates so badly that it's just too annoying to listen to. It's a I want to build a 2D extruded Ventura, where this tube right here is going to be our discharge. And the air will pass between this small little gap at high speed at an angle and produce a cone front here that's going to induce our vacuum for this large tube. Um, we're going to do a 2D extrusion, which means it's just going to be boxed. It's not going to have any round constituents other than the intake port, which is going to go right here. And this is the intake port for the air. Okay, fellas, so this is what we got. Now, I connected a vacuum gauge up, but it isn't powerful enough to draw a readable vacuum. It does pull a lot of air. I just wanted to show you guys how much boost we're getting off of this compressor, though, just for future reference. This is a two-stage blower, very powerful blower. almost able to get five psi's of boost however as you can see it will give us no readable vacuum now I'm worried that the throat may be a little bit too long so I might hook this up to a bottle of water and see what it will do but in the meantime let's uh, check this flame profile out as it's being pulled So as you can see, it was powerful enough to draw a propane flame into the tube at almost a 90 degree angle. The mice are gonna love this. Okay, here we go. Okay, fellas, so I've added a beak to our Ventura throat here, and we're going to draw this out to the maximum distance and observe. Actually, I should just go ahead and set it there now. I got the maximum draw with the beak pulled out that far. Let's check this out. <laughs> Ok 
Okay, so you can see we did get a difference by having this beak on here. Now the question is how long before it goes the other direction again? Okay, fellas, I lied. We're going five inches on this test. Let's see what happens here. Okay, here's four inches. It's probably just... Okay, it's heavily affected by me just doing this with my hand even. So, we are going to throw a divergent nozzle on this. If you haven't been screaming that at me the whole time, then don't worry, I'm getting to you. I just want to determine the optimum length of this throw. We're going to take another inch off of this. See what happens. Okay, here's the worst divergent cone in the world. But if this gives us an increase beyond this mark, we're going to go ahead and build a fancy one. Fancy time. shaking this thing is done and it is uh, probably gonna work out it has to pull a strong enough draft to run this thing here at about 600 degrees if we can't do that the day was a total loss unless you guys just watch the hell out of this video 